Today marks the start of severe weather week on Eyewitness News. Hurricane season is here and we are keeping you prepared every step of the way. Southern New England has seen firsthand just how powerful and destructive Mother Nature can be. From Hurricane Carol back in 1954 to more recent storms like Irene and Sandy. That's why we're bringing you in-depth weather coverage and special reports all week long in every newscast. Bringing you vital information to help you plan and prepare. And experts tell us preparing for the storm is probably the most important thing you can do to protect yourself and your home. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan has more on how you can get your family storm ready. When severe weather hits, you want to be prepared. First thing first, get a storm kit together for your family, for yourself. Be prepared for your family to lose power for up to at least three days. When it comes to water, you want to have one gallon of water per person per day. This can be used, obviously, for their drinking and also for sanitation. Have non-perishable foods around. Great idea is granola. It's full of fiber and will also fill you up. Granola bars are another great idea. Protein, you want peanut butter. Nutella is another great snack to have with the kids as well to keep you full all day long. And don't forget about your dogs. If you have them, make sure they've got plenty of their snacks and also their dog food. Put their dog food into a sealed container just in case you do have some flooding. You don't want any of your food or the dog's food to come in contact with floodwaters. Fruit is another great thing to have on hand. Have plenty of it, of it so your kids can snack and you can snack on it all day. And don't forget about batteries. You should have plenty on hand to last you for at least three days. Again, that three-day rule of thumb. One other thing that a lot of people do forget about is a first aid kit. You might have some Band-Aids around, but have an actual first aid kit that is made of metal so it does not get wet in case, of, again, you have some flooding in your home. You want to have plenty of Band-Aids, plenty of that antibacterial lotion in case anyone gets a cut. These are things that are going to keep you up and running for at least three days and keep your family safe. All right, Susan, thank you. And remember, when severe weather is on the way, you can always check in at WPRI.com to find vital information and resources you need to be prepared or and organized in one place so you can find it when it matters. Severe Weather Week continues on Iowa News starting tonight at 5. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka brings you his exclusive forecast for the rest of this year's hurricane season. Plus, find out why weather experts are calling on southern New Englanders to just be prepared for the worst.